Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you some simple and quick tips for troubleshooting on your iOS device. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. We know you're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether the employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. They've just launched their 10th campaign on Kickstarter, mobile by Peak Design. To learn more, go to peakdesign.com slash twit. Hello, folks. I have an exciting but quick tip for you today. This is something that I think a lot of people end up running into. Uh, whether you are the family member who knows a lot about tech and you're trying to help out a family member who maybe doesn't, or you are the family member who goes to someone else and says, can you help me with this? And inevitably they say, force quit the app. Or they say, force restart your phone. And you go, I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm going to show you how to do those things and what they mean. So let us take a look at the phone. All right. So the first thing we want to talk about is force quitting apps. Some of you already may know how to do this because you do it religiously, or it's sort of a muscle memory thing for you where you constantly force quit apps. I do have a secret for you. If anyone's ever told you this, I promise you it's true. You don't need to force quit apps. And in fact, doing so can actually reduce your battery life because by force quitting apps, you're forcing those apps to completely restart as fresh every time they launch, as opposed to letting them stay in memory so that when you launch the app, it gets right back to where it was before. So if it's about saving battery that you're making the choice to force quit your apps, it's better to keep them going. If it's just about feeling comfortable, feeling like it's something you need to do, then keep right on doing it. It's totally fine. I just want you to be completely informed about your decision if you choose to force quit apps every time. But if you are running into an issue with an app and you can't quite get it working, the best way to fix that is by force quitting the app. And you can get access to the uh, app uh, shuffle, <laughs> the app drawer, by taking our finger... And on a phone without a home button, we simply place our finger at the bottom and slide up. And you see these, you see the little zoom uh, happen there as we go into a blurry mode and then we let go. And now we can see the app drawer. Then we simply take our finger, we put it on top of the app and we slide up to make the app go away. So I'm going to flick this and now Instagram is force has been force quit. I can tap out of this app drawer to go back to my main screen. And now I can relaunch Instagram and it will launch fresh because I've force quit the app. So if you do run into an issue where maybe your app is not connecting, there's some reason why you can't uh, get to something within the app, then force quitting it is a way to help you out with that. All right, let's talk about the big kahuna. Uh, this is force restarting your device, and this has changed over time. It used to be that phones with home buttons and phones without home buttons, so these modern phones that don't have home buttons, had a different process for it. But Apple has updated iOS to make it a little bit easier so that it is similar between the devices. And what you're going to need to be able to do is tap the volume up and volume down buttons, as well as the side button or top button, depending on what device you have. For me, it is the side button, otherwise known as the sleep wake button or the side button, and the volume up and volume down buttons. To force restart the app, we tap, well, we click the volume up button very quickly, boom. Then we click the volume down button very quickly, boom. And then we tap and hold on the side button, until, and see, I didn't do it fast enough, so it launched Siri. So I'm going to do it again. Volume up, volume down. And until we get to this screen, so you see that I did volume up, volume down, and then the side button. And instead of it launching Siri, it actually pulled up the screen with the slide to power off button at the top and the cancel button down at the bottom. To actually force restart the device, though, you have to keep holding the side button. So I'm going to do it one more time, and this time the phone is going to disappear. Um, so we'll do up, down, side, and we keep holding. And this is important. If the screen is going to turn black and, and here we go. But this is the important thing. Keep holding that side button until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. 
then you can let it go. Don't let go until you see the Apple logo appear on the screen. That will do a complete force restart of the device. You will then need to log back in uh, and completely type in your password again. On the iPad, it works very similar to how you would do it on uh, the iPhone. We're going to click the volume up button, then the volume down button, and then we're going to hold down the top button instead of the side button. It's on the top on the iPad. So we'll do volume up, volume down, and side. And then it goes to the slide to power off screen. And then if I were to keep holding it down, it would force restart the device. So that is what folks are talking about when they say, hey, you should force restart your device if you're running into an issue or force quit an app. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you or if it wasn't something that you needed yourself, that this video is something you can send to a family member and say, this is all you need to do. Uh, to walk them through it. Thanks so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands On iOS. I do appreciate it. Of course, you can subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash HOI, where we've got links to both the audio and video versions of the show across all sorts of different platforms uh, and youtube.com slash Hands On iOS. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time on Hands On iOS. This episode of Hands-On iOS is brought to you by Peak Design. Peak Design just launched its 10th campaign on Kickstarter, mobile by Peak Design, an ecosystem of cases, mounts, and accessories that make your phone a better tool for everything you do. These accessories use Slimlink, which has been added to their new everyday phone case. When paired with your mobile device, it connects with accessories such as a wallet with a built-in kickstand, charging and non-charging mounts for your car dash, and a machined aluminum tripod, and so much much more. To learn more about the Mobile by Peak Design campaign and all the other amazing products, head to peakdesign.com slash twit. Support Peak Design and visit peakdesign.com slash twit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, host at Twit TV. Got a question for you. Have you gotten tired of how bad your photos are looking every time you post them to Instagram? Better yet, have you gotten yourself a new camera and you can't quite figure out why the images just don't look that good? Well, I have a solution for you. It's my show, Hands On Photography. Each and every Thursday, I sit down and share different tips and tricks that are going to help make you a better photographer and a better post processor. So subscribe today at twit.tv hop to learn more.